So I want to take a minute to talk about our torque wrench here. I'm going to take some up close shots so you can see how these work a little bit better. Um, on the torque wrench, right here is the power button. And I'm going to zoom in on this so you guys can see it really well. So you hit the power button. Get rid of that glare. And now you can see the unit of measurement it's set to. And on the right side, you can see the unit, in this case, foot pounds. If I press the U button for units, I can set it for inch pounds, newton meters, or back to foot pounds. Now, let's say I have a lug nut that needs to get tightened to um, 70 foot pounds. I can use the down arrow. And now it's set for 70. Now I go to the wheel, I push down on the handle, once it hits 70, it's gonna beep, the handle's gonna vibrate. Um, these are really accurate and intuitive, and my students love using them. Let's say I need to go to 100. I press the up arrow. And if you just hold it down, it goes real fast, almost too fast. And now we're at 100. Once you're all done, um, it actually turns itself off, and you can just put it back in the drawer if you want to be a rock star student, you just hold down the power button, and it turns off that way too. So I want to take a moment and show you guys how to use the manual style clicker torque wrench. Um, these things are super reliable, they last forever, and they're really easy to use. So let me show you how this works. There's a little lock on the handle right here, and you lift up on that. And now you take your other hand and you can twist this piece. And as you twist it, it's gonna start screwing into the handle. And these numbers right here, you'll see it start rising up. Now, if I wanted it at 50 foot pounds, I twist it. And I'm gonna do a close up shot so you can see this a little better. Over here, I've got 50 and then I'm on the zero. So that'd be 50 foot pounds. If I needed 60, I lift up on the handle, lift up on the lock, keep turning it until I make it up to the next line of, I went two times around on that, but now I'm at 70 foot pounds. Zero in on that. So now you can see the zero is on the line and then the edge of it right here is flush with the 70, so now I'm at 70 foot pounds. Whenever you're done with this, you lift up on the handle. And I like to just spin the top of it. And I just, you unscrew it as far as the handle will go. And that keeps the spring inside from getting uh, worn out. So that's your clicker style torque wrench. For our next step, we're gonna use a torque wrench to properly torque our wheels or tighten our wheels to the manufacturer's specified um, torque amount. We're gonna use a torque wrench. For the first side, we're gonna use this torque wrench. On the second side, we'll use a digital one. On this torque wrench, I have it set for 80 foot-pounds. The manufacturer specification is uh, 72 to 87 foot-pounds, so we're gonna go right for the middle. Uh, that way, if we're a little off, up or down, we're still gonna be within the specification. Now, in order to tighten the wheels, what we need to do is lower it down so that it's not spinning. So we're gonna go up to our control panel, press the lever, and we're gonna lower it until the wheel is just touching. There we go. We're gonna keep most of the weight off of the wheels. Um, the lift is gonna support the car. We want just enough touching the ground so that the wheel does not spin. And now we're ready to go ahead and tighten our wheel up. When you go to tighten the wheel, you always wanna push down towards the ground. If you try to pull, that's a good way to strain a muscle, hurt your back. Uh, and it's just a lot more work. So you're gonna put the torque wrench on here, rotate the socket until it goes all the way on the lug nut, and then you're gonna push towards the grounds. And you'll see it move just a little bit, and that's because I used that torque stick. It got it really close. Now this is gonna get it perfect, and that's the way we want our cars when they go out the door. We want them perfect. Push down, you'll hear a click. That's the torque wrench clicking. It's a little pop of the handle, and now it's properly tightened to 80 foot-pounds going to go across because we always do star pattern. We're going to go across, next to it across, so we tighten it nice and evenly. This also makes our brakes perform better. We're going to go next to it, and then across to the bottom. 
and you'll see it move just a little bit. That's good. Um, it means my torque stick got it close. This just got it perfect. And now we'll move to our other side. We're going to repeat the process over here. Line up the socket all the way on the wheel. Click. And you'll notice with this deep socket, my handle is not hitting the side of the car, um, even when I go all the way up. And that's a good thing. We don't want to be scra scraping up the paint on the car. And now what we're going to do is go to the other side and use the digital torque wrench. For this side of the car, we're going to use a digital torque wrench. The nice thing about digital torque wrenches are they beep, the handle vibrates, and they're just a little more intuitive. We're all kind of used to our phones beeping and vibrating. Um, what I'm going to do is set this for 80 foot-pounds, so I'm going to press the arrow up. If the units wasn't correct, I can change it from newton meters, foot-pounds, inch-pounds, but we're going to keep it set at foot-pounds and I'm going to dial it up to 80 foot-pounds. Now it's at 80. I'm going to put the deep socket on. Again, pushing down towards the ground, you always keep your hand on the handle. And the handle's buzzing and it's beeping. That tells me it's at the proper torque amount. And that's the process of using a digital torque wrench. Now we'll go to our last wheel. Again, I'm going to push down towards the ground. And you'll notice that one I had to tighten quite a bit. Um, that's probably one when, where when I was using the torque stick, I didn't hold the impact gun trigger down as much as the other ones. And that's why we always follow it up with the torque wrench. There we go. Now all of them are torqued. Um, all four on this wheel, the entire car has been torqued. And now we're ready to lower the lift all the way down. Now I use the lever, and now I've taken all the weight off of the lift, all the weight of the vehicles on the wheels, and now I would be ready to drive out the shop.